My name is Rick Polston with Orc Product Support. Today we're going to be discussing our new versatile steam cleaner, the Orc Steamit, or the SKU number, of course, is Steam 100. After each use, when you have finished steam cleaning, ensure that both the power switch and the steam switch are turned off and that the plug is removed from the electrical outlet. Let the unit cool, then empty any remaining water from the tank by unscrewing the water tank cap and turning the steam cleaner upside down to remove any remaining water. Store the steam cleaner by using the hanging strap at the top of the handle if needed. Now we're going to cover cleaning the steam generator. The steam cleaner must be completely cooled down and also ensure that the plug is removed from the electrical outlet. Twist the steam nozzle and you'll want to release this little pin that locks it into position and then turning the steam nozzle Pull upwards and this will remove it completely from the steam clean chamber. Insert the nozzle brush into the chamber. And insert the steam nozzle back into the chamber. And turn it clockwise until it locks into position. Oric recommends cleaning the chamber at least after every 12 to 15 uses to ensure optimum performance. Next we're going to cover unblocking the steam outlet. If the steam flow appears reduced, the steam nozzle may be blocked. Unplug the unit from the electrical outlet and allow it to cool. Then insert the nozzle pin into the center of the steam nozzle to clean any blockage that may have formed. Now we're going to address cleaning the claws. Both the floor and the utility claws can be machine washed at 60 degrees centigrade maximum temperature and for heavy soiling soak the cloths in warm water and detergent or mild stain remover. Allow the cloths to dry completely before storing. These can be tumbled dry on low heat. Now we're going to cover some basic troubleshooting with the steamit. If the steam cleaner has no power, the cause could possibly be that the cleaner is not properly plugged into an electrical outlet or is not switched on. The solution, of course, is to insert the plug into an outlet and switch the steamer to the on position. The second possible cause could be that the socket is faulty. Check the socket by unplugging the steam cleaner and plugging in a different appliance to assure that the electrical outlet is functioning properly. The third possible cause is the power cord is damaged, and if that's the case, make sure that the unit is taken to an authorized service center. The next possible problem is that no steam is emitted when the steam cleaner is turned on. There are three possible causes. The water tank is empty, check the tank, and if it is empty, make sure that you properly fill it. The next is that the steam nozzle is blocked and the solution for that is to clean the nozzle by inserting the nozzle pin into the center of the steam nozzle. The next possible cause is that the weighted tubing inside the tank is not in the correct or immersed position. The solution to that of course is to shake the steam cleaner gently to reposition the tubing. Another possible problem is only a small amount of steam flows out of the steam cleaner. The cause could be that the steam regulator is set to minimum. The solution of course is to turn the steam controller from minimum to maximum until a sufficient amount of steam is emitted. 